Hello everyone and welcome to Wild Wednesday Live presented by the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival. We do truly appreciate everyone's support of our show and hope you are enjoying it. We want to share a brand new part of the mall with you. If you go to the main page of the mall, you will see a pink starburst that says weekly specials. Each week we will have several of our mall vendors who are offering a superb deal on specific items so be sure to check back often on these special deals again we want to thank you for your continued support of our vendors while we wait for shows to begin again as soon as we get to go ahead on shows we will let you know we certainly want to see everyone soon enjoy today's show stay safe and we will see you in the mall Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Wild Wednesday Live, sponsored by the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival. I'll be your host this week. I'm Raylene Salazar from Quilters Haven. Now, before we get started, a couple of things. Um, we want to remind you that all of our vendors who are on the show today will be offering an extra special discount, but it's only going to be good from the end of the show until midnight tomorrow night, Thursday. So if you see something you want, don't wait. You want to get those extra savings. And you can find our vendors that are on the show today quick and easy by going to the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival Mall. And that uh, website is scrolling at the bottom of your page. Um, if you click on the link just below the Wild Wednesday logo, you'll quick and easily find all four of today's vendors. Now, don't forget, if you ever miss us live, you can always watch us on our YouTube channel at the Quilt Craft Show Mall YouTube channel. Okay, I know you guys are excited about the giveaways we've been doing every week, so we see no reason to stop doing that because you guys seem to be having a good time with it. So we've got five more great prizes today. We've got a beautiful wire basket from Global Marketplace. We have an iron rest, an iron rest and a bundle of fat quarters from Patty Cakes Fabric. We have two iSpy panels from Calico Cupboard. We've got some templates from Winners Designs and also a $25 gift certificate from the Fabric Chick Creative Oasis. So I don't know what's wrong with my tongue today. I think I need to take it out and reboot it or something. So, but anyway, listen to that, uh, the phrase uh, that's going to be given to you later in the show and that'll tell you how to win. So we're going to move right on going now. Um, <laughs> sorry, we just had, you know, the, the fun of doing live, someone just rang our doorbell. Um, anyway, um, we do want to remind you once again that we do live stream our show over the internet. Some of our vendors are in remote areas where they don't have a really super strong connection. So on occasion, we are going to have problems with sound, with the picture. We just need you to know that we see exactly what you see. So you don't really need to start typing in and telling us because we do see it. But again, it is that particular vendor's internet connection. If it's ever so bad, we feel like you can't see what they're doing, then we're just going to stop them and we'll reschedule them for a later date. Um, but again, it, that's just kind of the, the nature of the beast. So up first today, um, we have one of our favorite vendors coming back. He had let me know that he got all this amazing new jewelry. And I'm like, oh, it's almost Valentine's Day. Please come back on the show. So we want to welcome back Gary and Jan from the Global Marketplace. Hi, Hi. guys. Hi. Good to see everybody. Thank you, Raylene. It's good to see you again. I'm, I'm so excited. The picture that you sent of just the one piece. I was so excited yeah. to have you yeah, show this. Right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, we're going to turn it over to you guys. So take it away. Okay. Okay. Well, we um, uh, you have probably seen a lot of us uh, at the uh, uh, Rusty Barn shows. Uh, selling uh, fair trade jewelry and some crafts. We're the ones that are offering the uh, telephone wire basket later on today as a door prize. But we wanted to show you some uh, jewelry that uh, a young man named Carlos makes for us. Uh, he's from Chile, from uh, Valparaiso, Chile. And here's an example. My wife actually is wearing a little bit right now. And then I'll give you an, uh, some example of these wonderful pendants. Um, here we go. Um, it's uh, fused uh, glass, and maybe you can see it right there. And the the, I have it. Oh, I have it the wrong way, of course. Yeah. That's uh, that's just what I do all the time. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's fused glass. Uh, Carlos is an artist who makes these. Uh, everyone's unique. We can't really get ones that are the same because the glass behaves differently. What he does is he layers glass together and then melts it in a kiln for a while. 
Uh, now these are uh, normally $18 at our shows, uh, but we have quite a supply we'd like to sell so we can order more from Carlos. And uh, so we're dropping these down to just $12 for a pendant. And if you buy between now and tomorrow night, uh, you get 20% off of that. That'll get it down to around 10 bucks a pendant. And they make great uh, gifts for Valentine's Day. They come on their own cord, which is around 17, 16 to 17 inches. Uh, usually the cord matches the uh, piece of jewelry. So uh, there's that one. Uh, then um, here's another example, you know, glass. If I was gonna be an artist, I probably would wanna uh, work with the medium of glass. Here's, here's another one that Carlos made out of blue and uh, white uh, glass. Uh, and it's about an inch and a half by an inch or so, something like that. Another um, nice thing about those is that they have little bubbles in them sometimes that uh, add to the texture of the piece. Yes, people used to ask us if that was a mistake or not. And we asked Carlos about it. He actually does that on purpose. There's a little baking soda kind of thing you put in there and uh, it makes the little bubbles. Here's another one uh, that's uh, made uh, with three or four different colors of glass that are melted together. And uh, they're really striking pieces of jewelry to wear and they're really not very heavy. Uh, we've noticed that they're, that they're pretty light. Here, I'm gonna hand mm -hmm. that lid to Jan. And now we've got a lot of different shapes. Uh, here's one in more of a teardrop kind of uh, shape. Let me get a little closer here. Mm -hmm. um, it, um, uh, yeah, they're really shiny. Uh, there you go. You can really see all the, uh, the beautiful layers of glass in there. Again, these are just uh, $12 and with the discount, it'd be 10. The shipping would be free. And um, we uh, are in Rockman, California. But nowadays, just about um, oops, there we go. Just about everything's getting out in uh, in three or four days, so plenty of time for Valentine's Day, which is next uh, a week from Sunday. Here's a blue one. You can see all the different uh, layers of color that uh, Carlos has done. It's quite nice. Um, okay, the um, uh, going to run out of time here. Let me show you one more pair. Um, to give you an idea, these are earrings. They have surgical steel ear wires, and uh, these match the first pendant that I showed. These are all on our website. And um, so uh, they're about an inch long by about a half an inch wide. Uh, so they're they're not tiny, but, but they're not too heavy either. Uh, these are $14 instead of the $20 that we normally would have in our booth, uh, because we'd like to sell some and get an order off to Carlos. Okay, I'm gonna turn uh, the next segment over to my wife, Jan, who's got the beautiful butterfly jewelry um, that we're uh, selling. So go ahead, Jan. As we, we deal with a group in uh, Peru that raises butterflies for uh, a conservation project. They, they're trying to maintain their uh, way of life, uh, traditional way of life, and to uh, prevent deforestation of their lands. So they raise these butterflies and uh, make jewelry from them. And the but You'll be glad to know they don't kill the butterflies. Uh, they let them live a normal life, and they have um, they have uh, um, they let them lay their eggs, and they they wait until they die naturally before they make the jewelry. So here's one of the pieces I wanted to show you. This is a small pendant. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the art glass Gary showed you. Um, and this one is actually made from two different wings. The blue part is from a blue morpho butterfly. And the kind of sparkly opalescent part is from a butter colored butterfly. The cool thing about these, this jewelry is that it's double sided. This is the, the side that, that is the, the fancier side, but there's also a more muted side on the other side uh, that you can wear as well. So the, the setting is such that you can wear them either way. So you get two for the price of one. So this one's $29. We also have a um, heart-shaped one. This one is also a, um, a two different butterflies, a blue morpho on the top and a um, green, a, a, a malachite on the bottom. And it's also reversible. And this one's kind of cool because on the back of the green, of, of the uh, blue morpho butterfly, um, along the edge of the wing, there are these little, what looks like little eyes. And you can see at the top of the heart, that's what you're seeing is the eye part. So uh, they're, they're very striking. 
They come on 18-inch um, uh, uh, silver-plated chains, and they come in a little box like this. It's a little nice little gift box. And also we have information about each of the butterflies. So if you were to buy the, the Blue Morpho, we'd send you this one. It has a nice picture and then a little description of where the butterflies are and um, about how big they are. Um, we also have earrings. Small earrings are um, $39. This one is a Blue Morpho. And the ear wires are sterling silver on all of these. Uh, and the settings for the jewelry is uh, silver plated. Also reversible. This one's pretty cool for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> this is a, a called a Kramer's 88. And you can kind of see a little bit that the design on the bottom it looks like an 88 or maybe an 89. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> this one's very unique in that on the back, it's a darker color. You can see it's kind of a, a, a dark um, blue or black with a, a, a lighter uh, turquoise. So that's the, uh, the Kramer's 88. Those are, uh, as I said, they're uh, $39. This one is a um, turquoise emperor, very beautiful, has a kind of a shimmery quality to it and kind of a, a neutral background with a beautiful pattern usually. So again, you can wear them two different ways. The larger ones, <clears throat> we, we have about eight or 10 butterflies that, that they use in making the jewelry. This is a larger pendant as compared with this, this one that I showed you earlier. Uh, this one is 39, also double-sided. We have it in the Kramer's 88 as well, which is very bold. It's a really neat, uh, neat one. And uh, also the last one I'll show you, this is a, um, green banded urania. This is really nice for uh, St. Patrick's Day. It's got a shimmery green and black uh, part to it. Um, in, and this one is in a, uh, a wing shape. And then the other side is kind of a, a striped with blue and black. So you really get two different styles there. And these are all uh, handmade in Lima, Peru, in a small workshop in Lima, Peru. And uh, it helps uh, support the people in, in the uh, Amazon in, in Peru. Okay, thank you, Jan. It's so much fun to talk about these things again. We haven't been out at shows for over a year, it seems like. Well, the last thing we want to tell you about is what we're going to be giving as a door prize. Uh, you uh, mostly, um, uh, most of you probably know about these. They're made by the Zulu tribe in South Africa. And it's uh, called a, a telephone wire basket because it used to be made out of actual telephone wire. Uh, nowadays, they have it custom made because there isn't any more telephone wire anymore. But you can see that they weave these by hand. You can see the weave in there. This is a rainbow because it's got all, all the different colors of the rainbow. This is just $20. We have a whole bunch of uh, these and lots of different color combinations. Um, here's one called Black Rainbow, and it's actually a, um, a triangle, shape of a triangle. And uh, each one comes with a little tag that explains about how it's uh, made by the Zulu tribe. It's all fair trade, all helping people support their families, which is particularly important during these pandemic times. Uh, they are out on their tribal lands, but they still have to be very careful about traveling. Um, here's another one called the color pattern is called Earth Rainbow. And it's got muted uh, earth colors where you can see the wonderful weaving that the, the artist did. They start on the top and they work their way down to the bottom and they use a mold to get the shape uh, just right. Uh, we also have larger sizes. Here's a square one. Um, the uh, ones I just showed you were $25. These are $40 right here. And of course with the discount that would be $8 less. Uh, let me see if I can get it. There it goes. Uh, it's just amazing what these guys can do. I've seen videos of them doing it. They don't even look at what they're doing. They these just, are all washable too. You can put food in them if you want to. Yes, yes, good point. Oh yeah, we forget all the things we normally do when we're in the booth, but this is a lot of fun. Here's one, a new one that's got kind of a pedestal down here. Uh, it's pretty big. You can put, uh, as Jan said, that you can wash it with soap and water. So uh, this one's uh, $57. Uh, and we don't charge sales tax unless you live in California, then it's seven and a quarter percent and we don't charge shipping. Uh, so with the discount, you're really stealing these from us. So we should report that to the police. Uh, they're uh, quite 
a good deal at uh, at these prices. Look at that purple in there. It's really a nice. Then um, the last thing I want to do, we've got some big ones. These are $80 each, and uh, they're great for bread or for, uh, yeah. well, some uh, of our customers said they were going to put yarn and other things in them, but they're just wonderful to have sitting on your coffee table or around the house to inspire you, and I'll get it up close. You can see all the detail of the weaving in there. This one's uh, pretty shallow, uh, but you can actually put uh, just about anything in there. We've got uh, three different types of these baskets. Here's another one with uh, more light white sandy colors. This style does well when we do the shows down in Tucson and in Phoenix because uh, uh, everybody loves the desert. And uh, here's a purple one for those of you who uh, were descended from royalty. You like uh, purple. And uh, here's a perfect basket for you. So. So we have all these things on the website, and we have a lot more things on the website. Uh, so I'm going to turn it back to, to Raylene, and then we'll be here at the end of the show to answer any questions you might have. Okay. That was so awesome. Gary, yeah, that glass jewelry, guys, listen to me. $10 for those pendants? It's a steal. I would buy some extra ones and have them on. You know, we all like to have gifts on hand. Something comes up, you mm -hmm. forgot to buy a gift. That's perfect. Do you really think that person's going to think you only spent ten dollars when they see that gorgeous pendant? Yeah, and he yeah, does the free no shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and they, all, they, and, and they right. come in that little, they come in that little gift box that Jan talked about too. Yeah. So. Right, right. So great, guys. Remember, you've got till midnight tomorrow night for that extra twenty percent off, and they don't charge you shipping. So you know, I mean, you'd be losing money not to buy these, right? right. <laughs> so thank yeah. you so much, Jan, Jan and Gary. We will see you guys soon. Okay. okay. All right, guys, that was fun. Um, next up, we're gonna have Patty from Patty Cakes Fabrics. Now she was originally scheduled a couple of weeks ago and we have some connection issues. So we were able to get that resolved. We've got her back here now, but I have to tell you guys something funny. You know, we have been doing shows together forever and ever. And just a couple of weeks ago, we realized we live less than five minutes away from each other. Now you think, okay, well, whatever, but you have to understand we live out in the middle of the nowhere in, in the Arizona desert and she lives five minutes from me. So, so we're going to bring Patty in. I guess I should say, hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. How are you doing, Raylene? <laughs> good, good. How are you? Hey, um, we're going to let you just take it away and show us what you've got to show us. Okay, perfect. Well, today we're making a, a Valentine cosmetic bag. This is the small bag. And it's based on the Quilt As You Go Zippity Cosmetic Bag Kit. And in this kit, you receive pre-printed batting that is quilt by the number. And it makes a large bag and a small bag. It's the small bag that I just showed. And this is the large bag that we're going to make, be making today. But this bag is so large that you can actually fit your if you have one of these the stash and store in it and it'll stand up straight or if you're making the small bag your small stash and store will will stand up in that and all your notions that you take to class or over to your friend's house will stand up in that you just zip it closed and you're on your way so let's get started on the bag so first of all the really unique thing about this kit is that it comes in two it comes with two zippers that are already made for you. So this is like a, a, a gusset and the zipper is already sewn onto it. And what I would do first is I would sew the ends closed because I can't tell you how many times recently that I have zip, pulled the zipper off and, and then I have to put the, <laughs> the zipper back on. So that would be the first step is sew the ends of your zippers. They're nice and long. You're not going to use the whole thing. We're going to be cutting that off at the end when we finish our bag. So this is the large bag. And the first thing that you want to do um, is cut your fabric. You need about six fat quarters and a half a yard for the backing. And that'll make both bags. And it's a little slippery here, but <laughs> um, one, of the, one of the things that I did is I used 
the bone ash, I sprinkle it on, and then I iron on the backing. It doesn't have any smell like your, your spray can does. I didn't care for the smell of this, and, and also it was very sticky when I used it. So I switched over to the bone ash product. So that's your first step is you're going to attach your, your batting and to the back. And those are the higher numbers. As you can see, numbers um, 9 through 16. Okay. So we're going to start on the front. And we're going to piece the number one piece to number two. And we're going to continue in that fashion until we get all of it done up to number eight. And then we're going to attach our zipper. And the way that you do this is you just slip it into this casing. And I pinned it on. You want to pin it on. And then you just sew a nice straight line here. And then you have this decorative piece on the top of your bag, as I did on the small one. OK, so here, when you're doing this, this is where you're going to want to add your decorative stitches. So if you want to add a decorative stitch along the top, this particular casing is white. They also come in gray and navy, and we have those in our online shop. So you can match those with the colors of your fabric. Okay. And then also what I did is that I added a real pretty ribbon. These are from Renaissance Ribbon. And sometimes they're a vendor um, at, the, at the shows, and you can visit them, or they also have an online website that's really nice. They have beautiful woven ribbons. Okay. And so this is the back. And so once you get the two pieces put together, this is what it's going to look like, the back and the front. And then your back is going to slip right into that other side of that zipper. And you're going to pin that in and, and sew it down. So you've made both sides. One of the things that we want to do is that, um, one of the first steps is you want to sew all the way around your bag. And that's going to anchor your front to your back. Then you're going to add your pieces to your back piece. We used on our small bag this cute little um, pre-piece panel that's called Fancy Cats by Lorelei. Let me show you this. And I just cut a two and a half inch strip off of this. These are really cute. They're pre-pieced. They come in different um, prints. This, like I said, is called Fancy Cats. And then we used a cute little Valentine Fat Quarter Bundle for the rest of our prints on our bag. And this one we'll be giving away today, along with our So Hot Iron Rest. These are the door prizes for today. So once you get your one thing I want to remind you is that you want to do all your decorative stitching, all your quilting before you do your final stitch around the bag. That's how we're going to, I'll show you the inside of the bag. I left these raw edges. You may want to serge them or do a zigzag stitch if, if that's um, more to your, <laughs> to your machine's liking. And then just stitch across to make the the gusset uh, so that the bag will stand up straight. Um, one of our customers came in the shop the other day and she had hers already done and it was very large. She, You can put your knitting in here, you can put your, your other supplies in here. This is the finished size of the, of the large bag. And just to recap, the kit comes with the batting, pre-printed batting and two zippers to make the small and the large. They're available in our shop for 25% off until tomorrow. I'm sorry, 20% off until tomorrow night at midnight. And they come in gray, white, and navy. And here again, there's the zipper already made for you. And you just tuck your fabric in there when it's done. And we have lots of different fat quarter bundles that you may want to use for your project. Again, your mini stash and store fits in your bag. The large one fits in the large bag. So as Raylian said, I'm her neighbor now. We just moved from California. We were in San Jacinto 
And we moved from California to Fort Mojave, which is near Laughlin. And we're open on Fridays and Saturdays now. This is my garage shop. We're fortunate enough to be able to open here uh, as as often as we want, really. But for the time being, we're open on Fridays and Saturdays. So if you make it to the Laughlin area or Fort Mojave, we're really close. There's another quilt shop available if you want to go on a little road trip. And I hope to see you soon at the shows. Thank you for watching my demo. Have a great day. Bye-bye. That was Penny, that was so awesome. I'm fascinated by those zippers. Those zippers are the <laughs> coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for, for participating with us today. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks, Raylene. Bye now. Okay, guys, just a reminder that every one of our vendors today does have a discount that they're running till tomorrow night at midnight. And if you forget what their code is or you forget what the discount is, when you go to the Quilt Craft Sew Mall from the main page, you click on the link below the Wild Wednesday logo. That'll take you to the four vendors for today and it will tell right on their little landing page what the code is and what their discount is. So, okay, before we move on to our next vendor, I think it's contest time. I know you guys have been waiting for the secret phrase. So as a reminder, at the end of the show, we will compile everyone who entered, we will pull the winners and then we will post it right here on this Facebook page who the winners are and it will tell you what you need to do to redeem your prize. But you do need to get these redeems right away. So don't forget to check back. Usually I have it posted um, by six or seven o'clock tonight. Once in a while, I don't make it till Thursday morning, but I should be able to get there, get it up for tonight. And once I give you the phrase, you only need to type it in one time. If you type it in a lot, I gotta go back and sort all that out. So it'll make it a lot quicker to get it posted if you just do it one time. So. If you want to be entered in the contest today, the special phrase is, hello, February. Just type, hello, February, in the comment section. Okay, so we're going to move on now to our next vendor. And uh, this is also someone that we had to reschedule from a couple of weeks ago. But actually, Suzanne from Calico Cupboard has been on before. And we got such a great response to her appearance that we asked her to come on and show some more things because she has the best prices and the biggest selection of panels of anybody I have ever known. So we're going to get Suzanne in here. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, everyone. Hey, we're so glad we got you up and running today so we could bring you back in. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Great. Well, we're going to turn it over to you so you can get going. Okay. Welcome everyone to another Wild Wednesday presentation from the Calico Cupboard. We want you all to know that we're so grateful for the Rusty Barn group. That's Chris, Eric, and Ruthie. And to Raylene, our hostess with the mostest, and to Ron, our, our computer guru, for making these videos available to you. Um, as you know, I was on, on December 2nd, and I shared with you a lot of the panels that we have and some of the projects that you can complete with them. And today I decided to come back and show you actually step-by-step -step how to complete three of those projects using two of the panels from the I Spy line. But just a little background, as many of you know, quilting or the layering of fabric with a, a, a batting or a filler, uh, even flannel sometimes, has been around for centuries. Archaeologists have actually found quilted armor that the Chinese soldiers used. And of course, you all know about the quilted garments and quilted bedding that's been around for a long time. Well, in the mid to late 1970s, there was a, re, was a resurgence in quilting. And at that time, manufacturers were printing fabric with designs that covered the entire width and length of the fabric and just kept repeating over and over again. Well, in order to encourage a lot of the people who were working and not able to spend a lot of time piecing and sewing things together, manufacturers started printing fabric that actually had the patterns on them. So you could com complete a jacket or a vest, uh, uh, advent calendar, Christmas tree skirt, an uh, actual quilt top or quilt blocks that you would then sew together. And that eliminated the need for special patterns or colored 
choosing. A lot of people had trouble choosing the right colors to go with each other, so that eliminated that. It, 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 it made it uh, more customer friendly to people who were just starting out. They could finish their projects more quickly. So today, I'd like to show you three projects that you complete can complete using two of the patterns from the I Spy line. So we'll make two projects from the I Spy, whoops, upside down, from the I Spy um, small quilt panel, and we'll be making a soft book from the soft book panel. So let's get started with the soft book. As you notice, when you purchase your panel, along the bottom of the panel are the actual instructions for cutting the pieces and sewing them back together to complete your project. Also includes all the, the extra supplies that you're going to need in addition to the panel. And so to complete this book, you're going to need a half a yard of batting or quilting fleece. And if you want a closure, you can use uh, Velcro dots or you'll need a half a yard of ribbon. And then, of course, your general sewing supplies like scissors, pins, thread, sewing machine would be good. So let's get started. Um, on the panel, you're going to notice that the pages are, are um, on the panel in pairs. So you have two pages together. So you're going to cut around. Um, there's six groupings, so you're going to cut around each of those groupings all the way around. And then the directions will explain to you how to lay out the pairs together. So I'm going to tip this down so you can see better what I'm doing. So starting with the cover page. This is the front and back covers, and they're together, one piece. You lay them down, and this is where, before you get started sewing everything together, you want to add your closure if you want one. So the closure I've used most frequently is ribbon. And so you would cut your half yard ribbon in piece in half, and then you would um, pin them in the center of the pages with the tails towards the center. Then your directions tell you to choose the next two sets of pages one and 10, and you lay those face down so you have right sides together of your pages. You then place this on your, your batting or your fleece and you cut all the way around so that your fleece is the same size as your pages. And you're going to continue on with the other pairs. You're going to have pages two and nine together and three and eight. Again, right sides together, place them on your fleece, cut all the way around. And then the last set are pages four and seven and five and six. Again, right sides together. Lay them down on your batting or your fleece and cut all the way around. And now you're ready to start sewing the pairs together to make your pages. So you line them up. First thing you want to do is mark about a six to eight inch opening across the bottom of your pages. And that's going to be so you can turn it right side out. Now you'll notice that the pages have square corners. And that's fine if that's what you'd like. I finally decided that I like rounded corners. So I found a bobbin. It's about the right size, and I lay it down in the corner, and then I trace around it so it gives me a nice curve edge. So as I turn as so long the, the top edge, I can curve around that corner. So you're going to sew all three of your pairs together, and then you want to open the seam a little bit and then trim out all the batting that extends out into the seam. That'll make your pages lay nice and flat and makes it easier, to, um, reduces the bulk that's in the seam. So you do that with all three of your, your sets of pairs. You turn them right side out. I like to press it at that time. And then I turn up those raw edges where I had turned my pages right side out, turn those to the inside, and either hand stitch them closed or sew them closed with a sewing machine. And then you're ready to stack your pages together to complete your book. You start by placing the front and back pages face down on your table and then you place the next set our pages facing you three and eight and then the next set goes on top of that and that's five and six and you'll notice when you lay them out that the cover pages extend past the inner pages by about a half an inch and that's so when you close your book all the pages are even so at this point you want to center your pages and then I draw a line down the middle 
and I stitch that on my machine. And I like to use a walking foot or an even feed foot because that makes it flow more nicely through your sewing machine. Now, if you don't have one of those feet, you can also just lengthen your stitch length so that again, it feeds the fabric nicely through your sewing machine. And you're all set with your book. The next project I'd like to share with you is made from that small quilt panel. And let me tip this up so you can see a little bit better. So that makes this nice small quilt to go along with your book. And to complete this quilt, you'll need a half a yard of fabric for your outside border, and you need three yards of backing and batting. The finished size of this quilt is approximately 42 by 49 inches. So to complete the quilt top, you want to cut your half yard of fabric into four four inch wide strips. The strips are four inches wide by the width of your fabric, so they're about four inches by 44, 45 inches. I like to sew the borders to the sides of the quilt panel first, and then across the top and the bottom. And then you have your, you want to layer your fabric with your batting and your backing and quilt around any of those motifs that you like. Trim up your edges, find your quilt, and you're all set. So at this point, now you've got a book and a pan and a quilt for your set. The last part of this set is to make a pillowcase to go with your quilt and your soft book. The pillowcase is also made from that one yard quilt panel. And to make the pillowcase, you will need, in addition to the panel, you're gonna need an extra quarter yard of fabric. So you, and this is for the cuff of your pillowcase. So you're gonna have your 44, 45 inch wide or strip, long strip, that's four inches wide. You lay that down on your table, face up, and then you're going to lay the panel along that 45 inch edge. Again, face up. Now match those, let me tip this down so you can see. Match those raw edges along the length of the fabric. The last piece of your pillowcase is a two and a half inch wide strip of coordinating fabric. You're going to press it in half, the length of that strip, wrong sides together. So the right sides are out. And you again have this raw edge that you're going to lay again on top of that quilt panel, which is on top of your sleeve, matching all those raw edges. I like to pin them in place at this time. It keeps them from slipping around because the next step is to take the other edge, the other long edge of your panel, Okay, it looks like uh, Suzanne froze that she was almost at the end of her presentation. And I think you probably got a lot of good information from her. I mean, I know I love those little soft books because you can just throw them in the washing machine when they get all icky and bring them out and they're good to go again. So again, I, I apologize. I don't really know what happened. We were having some issues with Suzanne a little bit earlier with her connection. But uh, like I said, she was pretty much at the end of her presentation. But I do want to remind you that she does have that extra 20% off um, until midnight tomorrow night. So we thank Suzanne for joining us again. So before we move on to our last vendor today, I do just want to remind everybody that our phrase for the door prizes today is Hello February. And this is the last time I'm going to remind you. So if you haven't already typed that in, go ahead and do that now. But remember, please only type it in one time. All right, so up next, our last vendor for today, and certainly not least, um, one of our fan favorites and a regular on our show. You know, Linda has like a million different demos, so we are always begging her to come back on to show something new. And it looks like we've got her. Hi, Linda. Hi, how are you? I'm going to try to look at the camera and not at the screen. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. I'm so guilty of doing that same thing because I want to watch you while I'm talking and I'm sure it looks ridiculous, but, but we're just really excited to have you. So I'm going to turn it over to you so you can get going. 
All right, wonderful, thank you. All right, Zeke is gonna keep time for me, so hopefully it won't run over this time. Okay, so this is a tweak here, a tweak there. You guys probably know about Martelli's no slip material. And then of course my winter design stuff, this stuff, no slipping, no kidding. It grabs the fabric. I've shown this, this has been my favorite template forever, the box bag template. It actually goes like this and it fits this, a tweak here, a tweak here, so good. But I didn't want to show it because I've shown it a bunch of times. So I'm going to put it aside. What I want to show you instead is the burp pad. I have a burp pad template. Everybody's made burp pads probably made the burp pads with this kidney bead kind of shape so that it fits the left side or the right side. Well, I want to show you with this template, the no slip template for my burp pad, how we can tweak it a little bit and get something else out of it. Of course, we can do a burp pad and fabric choices. There's all kinds of stuff that I tell you in the videos, but you can also add a pocket, a pocket here, a pocket there. So you can put your TV um, remote, you can put your greeting glasses, you can put a crossword puzzle. If you wanted to do it for a sewing caddy, soft Velcro, not the rough stuff, because that'll eat up your armchair of your sewing machine. But you can do that with this template. But what I've got laid out here has this little guy from Martelli. Martelli makes two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, a bunch of sizes of squares. If you're a Martelli fan, if you have one of our tables, you have these. These guys, this is a two and a half. It lines up perfectly. I've got my fabric folded. I've got another piece of fabric folded for a pocket. And this is to make a double handed pot holder. Do I have it here? No, because it's in my suitcase with one of the vendors from the last Rusty show that I, Rusty Barn show that I was at. But I want you to imagine because I have a video that'll show you how to do this, but it's just a great reminder. I'm going to use Martelli's rotary cutter. I'm going to cut around. Now, when I get here, notice I'm moving that template that lets me cut around and I'm moving that template as I go because I'm moving it. I don't need any paper template that's gonna end up not being the same on the left side as on the right side. As I continue up here, I wanna stop for a moment and move that template over to the other side. What this is letting me do is tweak this template to give me two and a half times two, five additional inches. So this right here, when I sew these guys, I would cut, this is one pocket here, and I would cut two of these. Can I get my fingers to work? I would cut two of these. There'd be a pocket down here and then there'd be the lining. I love to use, can I find it real fast? This stuff on the back, why? This is a twofer. It's both the lining that's gonna protect your hands and it's also gonna help me protect my surface, my fingers, that kind of stuff. And it's a backing, so I don't need the fabric for that. But imagine if I stitched two of these with the batting or whatever that I wanted to do. And when I finish stitching right here, I would stitch down. That's a pocket for my thumb and a pocket for my fingers. This additional length that I got with this, the two and a half inch square, that gives me five more inches. So now I've got this pot holder. I'm gonna kind of give you the idea of this, but this is a different shape. Do you see how this, it's the same concept, but I like this because I could embroider on there, king of the grill, whatever. Of course, I wouldn't do little girly fabric for a guy, but king of the grill with the pocket. And this becomes a good one for men's hands. Plus this is a different style. And if you already own the burp pad template, you get another project that you can do with that. So an oven mitt done with this, super simple, super fast. Let me get the burp pad out of the way. If you watch though, my video will show you how to make a preemie burp pad. Why? Because you're gonna know somebody that's had a preemie and they're not gonna have anything that will be made for them. So you can take this template and you can make things smaller. You notice this is much smaller than this is here. So my video on the burp pad will show you how to do that kind of stuff. I also have videos that'll show you how to do the taggy toys. These owl taggy toys, here's a stuffed one. They're so much fun. This is actually part of the giveaway that I'm doing, not here. I have a giveaway, I'm gonna be giving you two templates, but on my Facebook page, I'm giving away the burp pad template. I'm giving away owl taggy toy kit. This stuff has the ribbons, the eyes, all kinds of embellishment stuff. I'm gonna be giving away then the same thing that I'm giving away for the door prize today. But these taggy toys are a whole lot of fun. And all we're doing here when we cut out, 
on my website, if you go to my website, winnerdesigns.com, there's a little paper template that basically gives you the ears and you'll place it. You'll see it on the template. You'll place it on top of there, just like I placed this. And you'll be able to cut around and get those ears. And then you can stuff it inside of here. I left this one open because there's all of those bags of stuff that you've thrown away, your snacks, all that stuff that you tend to, you know, use as trash. It gives you that nice crinkle sound. So these are owl taggy toys. They can be done with the burp pad template too. And again, you can stuff one if you want to, but you can also make cute little bags like this. This is one of those snap bags. You guys know you're going to go steal your husband's. Don't go to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree tape measures, they're not that great. But in the video, I tell you to take two tape measures, tape them together and two in this side and two in this side. But what I like about this is it's a little bit different shape wise. It's a little bit more interesting than some of those rectangular um, snap bags that you've made. And this is done from the burp pad template. My video sh will show you how to do that too. I had lots of people that said, Linda, we need a big burp pad. It's not a burp pad for babies, unless you're a giant that's burping a giant baby, which that means none of us. But this guy here makes really cool bags. And of course, all my bags that I've made that I love are in that suitcase. But this is one that I found that I made a while ago. Linda McGee, he has these snap pieces here that you can still buy. But this, you can see it's not the whole template. This guy here, when I cut, I put my fold of my fabric right here. So I didn't cut all of that. You don't have to do all of the template. Just like with this, this is one of those organizers you put underneath your sewing machine for all of those tools that you want to have at hand. But if you look, you can see I didn't use all of the template and look how it's even wider because the template, when you pick it up, you can cut and then you scoot it over and you cut. You'll see in the video how to do this. Okay, Zeke is, oh, he's telling me, look at the audience. Oh, earlier I, I wasn't being shown, so I was looking at the screen. Okay, thanks, Zeke. Okay, so this guy here, it lets you make bigger and smaller things, shorter, narrower, longer, etc. So that's a fun one to do too. And remember on my website, or on my Facebook, I'm giving away this plus the owl taggy toys. I want to show you one of the templates that I'm giving away because this is a really fun one with Easter coming up. This little guy here, this is the three quarter oval. This is the regular size. I'm giving this as a door prize along with my eight inch circle. But I also make a large one because people have said, I have a man with bigger hands, so they want a bigger one. This makes, it's another oven mitt. Can you tell I do a lot of cooking stuff with the oven stuff? Do I cook that much? Uh, not as much as I think I should. But anyway, this is made from this. When we look at the template, there's this right here where I would cut out this piece here. There's the place on fold that turns into this piece here. And then there's a little hash mark and a hash mark where I place that on the edge and that turns into that piece there. So it'll make this will make an oven mitt. This larger one will make this oven mitt. But I wanted you to be able to do other things with the template, too. So last year I made this little guy from this. So this here, this here makes this little guy. And I'm basically just doing two of those. And I put a little piece at the bottom to have him so he can stand up. I free formed cutting his feet and cutting his ears. There's all kinds of patterns out there if you want to trace and all of those things, but it's super simple. And then I just stuffed them. So that's super simple to make out of this. The smaller one, I wanted to do one of those towel toppers. So this was done with that. And if you've got kids, grandkids, neighbors that you want to make something for, this is really cute. Put the little hanging piece here so you can hang it on a nice little hook. And that can be hanging in your kitchen or hanging wherever. And this is a towel that maybe you started embroidering on and you messed up. So you have this left over. So you're not really wasting all that towel. But that's a little tweak here, a little tweak there. Lisa Gifford, a friend of mine, and you all know her from Martelli, she made this for me last year, actually a couple years ago, and she didn't put the eyes on. So I finally got some eyes and put some eyes on here. What do we do? We're just extending the template. So if you're interested in this, I'll do a video that'll show you how to do it. But I think you get the idea. We're basically just going to be taking this template and you'll cut. Let's get that in front of the. Oh, thank you, Zeke. You'll cut. You can scoot this down. Or you can grab my favorite tool, this guy here, and cut. 
you decide how long you want it to be. When you get over here, you line it up with that edge. We're just tweaking the template. That's the wonder of this no slip material. Okay, so I have this fabric out here because I wanna show you the next template that I'm giving away. You're gonna get the door prizes, this and this. If you enter my Facebook giveaway, next Wednesday is when I'm doing the drawing. I'm giving this away, this away. I'm giving away the burp pad and Zeke tells me I've got five minutes. Perfect. Thank you. The burp pad template and the owl taggy toy kit that has ribbons, has some uh, buttons for eyes and has uh, flowers for eyes too. So those guys there, but this, I have this, I could cut out a circle, but what I really like to do is use the circles for the bottoms. You can see there, I've got some of my, you know, needed tools. I've got more tools, a project here. This is another oven mitt when you fold this in half and stitch this around, put a zipper up here. There we go, that turns into this. So this same template does that. But if I've got a project I'm working on, I can put them in a basket. Let's see, <laughs> put them in a basket to be able to do that. Now, if I'm doing something like this or any of these baskets over here, these baskets, the circle diameter at the bottom is what I care about. So I've got a five inch, I've got an eight inch, I've got a six inch, I've got a 10 inch, I've got a whatever size you want for the circle. But you're gonna cut out the circle. When you cut out your circles, then that can be your bottom and then you're simply going to figure out how tall do I want my sides to be. I'm gonna grab my favorite ruler again. I can cut and cut and that'll give me the height of this. You'll see in the video, I'm basically gonna be stitching around this and then I'm gonna take my raw sizes I start stitching just one end and stitch around. When I get kind of close, that's when I'm gonna measure and figure out how much of this fabric do I need to cut off. You can do the math, it's called pi. I don't know how well you all did in school, but I don't wanna do pi. So you can kind of roughly estimate, measure around here from start to finish, add an inch or two, cut that length. I just cut my strips a little bit longer and then I can cut off as I go. I love the circle projects though, and these are probably one of the most versatile projects I have. You could of course put fabric on top and do a pot holder. You know, that's a no brainer, put some binding around that. You can do what I did for my Christmas in July last year, this guy here. We're doing the pot holder, you'd have fabric on the back, you do the little pocket here, this is so cool. You take the template, we're gonna place it on there, and when I go to cut around, that's going to give me this piece. Then when I stitch these on, we're going to put binding here, binding all the way around, put a little strap on the top, and it turns into a cute little pot holder. It's a little bit different than what you're used to looking at. But one of my favorite pot holders I showed you earlier, this guy here, you're going to cut your fabric 28 inches, fold it in half. And when I go to cut right here, I'm turning the template. And what that lets me do, I'd cut both the left side and the right side, and that gives me this. This curve on all of these pieces will be exactly the same thing because of that eight inch circle. Super fast, super easy. These the little boo-boo bags, the little owl taggy toys, this you put it on the floor, and with your foot, you're gonna mop, whoops, mop this guy around. Okay, that's it. I wanna remind you, this guy here, let's see, Zeke, tell me how we're doing. All right, so go to my website, winner, let's see. <laughs> Winnerdesigns.com is my website. If you order anything, WW20, doesn't matter if it's capital letters or lowercase, 20% off till Friday. I always give you a little bit more time because I know you're gonna wanna shop around a little bit. Enter my giveaway on my Facebook. My Facebook right up here, Winter Designs for Sewing and Quilting. Look for the post that is at the very top and enter the giveaway. You just add a comment and you share. Like the post, like, share, um, um, post, or like, share, comment, and that's it. Ugh. Okay, see guys, I am done. Thank you guys. Did I make it with my 15 minutes? Raylene, how did I do? You did amazing <laughs> as always. They it tells me I had 59 seconds left. <laughs> it just amazes me every time I watch you how many things you get out of the template. It just makes the stuff so economical. Your things are so fast and easy. It's stuff that yeah. you don't see all the time. So oh, I mean, it's just some really super great ideas. So we appreciate that. 
So I remember that, I have right. videos on all this stuff on YouTube. Yes, she has a great lineup of videos. So be sure you check that out as well. So right now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to ask Ron to bring everybody back on screen. We're going to kind of do the whole Brady Bunch thing here. And we're going to start our question and answer. Now, we're all excited because we got Suzanne <laughs> back, but it looks like we lost Patty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have questions for her. We'll have to ask her a bit later. So here's what's going to happen. If you have a question for any of our vendors from today, just go ahead and type them in the comments. And then I'm going to do my best to be able to see the screen from where I'm sitting. And I'll read those off to them so that we can get those questions answered. So go ahead if you have any questions and type those in. Uh, the, uh, Suzanne, remind us what they get with iSpy. They're getting two when they order the iSpy panel. Sorry. They're the door prize, you mean? No, the, the panel. When they, yeah, that panel. There's two different panels. There's a book panel, and then there's a, a small quilt panel. So there's two different iSpy panels. And what's the price and of those? They are $11.49. Awesome. Thank you. And those are the door prizes as well, both the panels. Perfect. Uh, Gary and Dan, where do you ship from just for time's sake? Uh, Rockland, California, right? You ship Rockland, from California, California, right? Right. Right. Great, great. Um, anybody else, if you have any questions, go ahead and type those in. Oh, someone wants to know, uh, Suzanne, if the school bus and schoolhouse panels are available. I'm assuming I have one left. <laughs> I have one left. Susan, she's got one left, so you better hurry. <laughs> okay, anybody else have any questions today? Okay, let's see. Oh, the butterfly earrings and the glass pendants, Gary and Jan, uh, they'd like to know the price again. The uh, butterfly pendants, the uh, the small pendants are $29, and the uh, small earrings are $39. Then the large uh, pendants are $39. And the large earrings, let's see, did I bring the large earrings? It's a, a 40, 49. So, and they're all on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see we've got different styles and different colors mm -hmm. as well out there that I didn't show you today. And the art glass is a ten uh, is a twelve dollars for a pendant and fourteen dollars for earrings, <laughs> and you get the discount from that. Great. And the code for that, someone asked, is WW20. That is your discount code. That's right. And let's see. Uh, yeah, we got that one. Oh, the panel, Suzanne, um, the panel behind you with the streets. What is that called? That is a playmat panel, and that's available on the website. We have a few of those left. Great. Oh, and there is better. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Also, um, I wanted to let you know, Raylene, the last uh -huh. time the last time the code wasn't working. So no matter code or not, they'll still get a 20% discount awesome. if they order by tomorrow night. Awesome. And guys, that's a good reminder. I should have already said that. If you have problems ordering with any of our four vendors today, don't hesitate to reach out to them through their website. They're going to take care of you. They're going to help you out. So, you know, stuff happens sometimes that we don't anticipate. So just know that we're going to take care of you. Okay, let's see. Um, any other questions today? It looks like that's about it today. You guys are kind of quiet. Oh, uh, what was the kit name from Patty? I wish I could remember, but I know that's on her website. And like I say, we lost her, but uh, we will find that out for you. And uh, we'll we'll comment later or we'll have her scan the comments once we can reach her. We haven't been able to reach her yet. So um, great. Well, I think that's all the questions. So I want to thank all four of our vendors for being with us today. We've had a really good time like we always do. And let's see what else I should be reminding of you of before we leave. Um, you know, just again, we, we always say this every week that we are so appreciative of everything that you guys are doing to support us during this difficult time. So every time you go to the mall, you check out our weekly specials, which if you don't know about that, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you. When you go to the Quilt Craft Sew Mall, look for the pink sunburst that says weekly specials every week. There are several vendors who have a great deal on a particular item. So you don't wanna miss out on those, those change every week. But you know, if it weren't for things like this that we're all trying to do and at different virtual things, we might not be here when the shows start up. So we cannot tell you how much we appreciate you. Um, we wish it wasn't this way, but it is. And thank goodness for technology so that we can at least still have some connection with y'all. So so I think that's it. Oh, we got, do we have another question? Hang on just a second. 
Oh, people are asking where the websites are. Again, if you go to the mall, quiltcraftstonemall.com, look for the Wild Wednesday logo, click on the link below the logo, and that will take you to the landing pages for the four vendors that we're on today so that you can quickly get to their websites. And uh, looks like, was there another question, Ron? Hang on, sorry, we're, we're reading quickly here. Oh, uh, winter designs. Yes. What is the price of the small circle and the Borat pattern? Uh, the small circle and the what pattern? <laughs> it says Borat, B-O-R-A-T. <laughs> Borat, Borat, I don't it's know. It's probably a type. I don't know. I it's a typo. Whoever asked me that, go ahead and, and put that post in there and I'll, I'll respond to it yeah, through the post. She'll come back to you uh -oh. for the person yeah. that had that everything, question. Everything is on sale on my website, plus you have a discount code too. So, right. so. you kind of get a twofer between now and Friday. Okay, it looks like that's all the questions. We've got everybody taken care of. And once again, we want to thank you guys so much. So we hope to see you next week here on Wild Wednesday Live. Go out and make it a creative week. Bye-bye now. Bye.